All right, guys, second verse. I hope it's not the same as the first, but we're still thinking about that, uh, about the four valves. In the meantime, let's just kind of push this out of the way. Everything's all boxed back up again. I do kind of like the idea of being able to float around, and it's it's built the way it is for a reason. Uh, I just think, I like things to be built a little stronger, so I'm, I'm going to think about it. And I just don't know how it would take a crash, to tell you the truth. Well, not that I'm going to be crashing a whole lot, but then again, hey, it's me. <laughs> so, anything can happen. <laughs> All right, this is what was promised yesterday, but we got it today. It's just as good. A double box, a double unboxing. How about it? You don't see too many of those. And it is the FMS. It's that one, that one, that one, or that one. Well, we already have that one, and I loved it so much that we decided we'd get that one. I didn't get this one, guys, mostly for the for the part that they they know they spelled the word wrong. Vigilante. It's supposed to be vigilante, um, and then they still leave it that way. It's been the, it's been like that for years, you know, and they're still producing it that way. So <laughs> shame on them. But not that that's really a big issue. It's just kind of stupid. Stupid enough that I don't want it on my plane. You know, if I'm going to fly something that's supposed to be somewhat scale, at least let's spell the, spell the word right. This feels really light, too. I wonder if it's an empty box. Maybe somebody's having fun. I missed uh, uh, April Fool's, so they figured they'd get me. Ouch, on tax day. Got me. I was cut away, too. I don't know how I did that. Anyway, tax day, Joe. Yeah, that's it. Knock on wood, I'm having luck with the boxes at least today. They're opening up like they're supposed to. careful about the unpackaging here. I like to be able to, if I should have to. You know, if, if I'm returning something just because I don't like it not, and there's nothing wrong with it, I don't want some other customer getting it saying, hey, yeah, this thing's been opened up and, you know, abused or whatever. So I like to at least make, make it look like it has not been messed with. I got good at that over the years when I used to unwrap Christmas presents early and then play with them for a little while and wrap them back up very carefully and put them back under the tree. And Mom and Dad never actually really did know. I thought I got away with it for years and years and then I figured out oh, sooner or later they'd tell me that I never got away with it. Well, I did. <laughs> and one thing I actually did get away with that they didn't know about. Not too many others, though. Well, this is looking kind of neat. I think my first reaction on the F-16, or F-15, was, well, that's cute. I was kind of disappointed. Well, this is about the same size, really. It's cute. It, it's it's cute, but I like it. Of course, you know, mine's bashed in, in the back again. Like, bam! You can still see the marks on the back of this. Would they drop it from the top of the truck? Oh, God damn it, man. That's like that's like right on the That's right on the folds and stuff back there for the nozzle too. You know, it's not just a simple press it out and straighten it up, man. That's like foam chunks flying off there. That pisses me off. Other than that, the thing looks gorgeous. I like the finish. Yeah, I did a build video, it was a speed build video of the last one, of the F-16, or F-15, F F I keep getting those mixed up. The F-15, the one that I just flew. Uh, and 
the, the, the speed build was so fast that I, I, I couldn't couldn't publish it. I had to actually do the full length thing and then just speed it up. This is a keeper. I, I'll see what. I, well, it's got some blemishes, but I can fix those up. What bothers me is this back here. This back here. That's just like I'm. I'm going to fire up and hit the hit the throttle on this thing, and foam's going to go flying from this. I'll see what I can do. Maybe I can. Uh, I'll spooge it up with a little bit of foam tack glue and kind of shape it, and then I'll dust it up with a little paint or something. I mean, if that's the worst that's wrong with it, then, then I'll be lucky guy, right? Nice looking play, guys. You'll get to see it when it's all together. I'm keeping this one. I've actually already got a... Uh, yeah, this has just got the five-blade stock motor. I wonder why they put it all the way back here on the F... On the F-15, it's up here where it's where most of them normally are. This one's all the way the hell back here. Anyway, um, looks kind of cool. That'd be more efficient for the uh, for the EDF as far as power. But I've already got a, a 12 blade uh, high performance 3500 uh, kV motor. Uh, runs on uh, four four to six S I think, and that ought to tear up the skies pretty good with a model this size. Anyway, this I'm this I'm happy with. We're keeping this one. I like these little jets. They're fun. They're uh, good good training for when you're going to start flying the expensive ones. Because if you can get good on a little one like this, uh, because they're actually a little tougher to fly, you get good on a little one, you you you'll have no problem with a big big one. At least that's what I'm being told. So uh, for a change, I'm trying to listen to what people tell me that know that know a little bit better. Thanks for watching. That's the uh, FMS F-35. Um, wrong wing. But, pretty cool little plane. I'll throw this stuff together. You guys will get to see it on another video. Thanks for watching again. Weather's finally changing. Can't wait. See you at the park.